Listen, Living Well listeners, we are so excited to be joining you guys with our first video interview. We are totally stepping out of our comfort zone to come at you live and do this video interview. And none other joining us today is Ida Brown. We're going to be talking to her about a Night to Shine event that's coming right here to Anchorage. She's going to give us all of the details about it, and we're going to learn about what is the purpose, what is the mission and the vision behind this fantastic event that's coming up. And we're going to learn a little bit about her as well. So we appreciate you tuning in and uh, we hope that this goes well with the technology. We have prayed over it and prepared for it. So here we go. We're doing it, right, Betty? We're doing something. We're not, <laughs> we may not know what we're doing. We're going to do something. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Ida, if we could just turn to you a little bit and if you could just tell our listeners a little bit about yourself, we'd love to just learn the 411 on you and uh, find out what you're all about. <laughs> sure. Well, I'm Ida Brown. I've lived in Anchorage for 25 years with my husband, who was military when we first got here, but now he's retired. I have four lovely daughters, uh, one of whom uh, basically birthed um, the Night to Shine event out of her desire to just do something for the special needs community. And I just keep busy in my little part-time job at a counseling center and uh, help out in the community as much as I can. I really enjoy just uh, reaching out and helping um, whoever I can and whatever special needs and whatever kind of issues uh, are out there. I like to be involved. And I think my daughters have taken after me and we just are out there helping what we can. Oh, wow. That is daughters, so great. Don't you? don't you have a set of twins? I do. I do. I have four daughters. I have uh, 30 and 23 and a set that's 22. Are they all out of the house now or are they still some at home? No, pretty much. They're all out of the house. I have uh, my last twin that's home, but she's so busy. She's rarely there. So I say she's pretty much out of the house too. <laughs> so it's getting a little quiet. I have to kind of keep busy doing other things. I so look forward to those quiet years, but I am <laughs> learning that uh, when they come, you tend to miss all the noise and the chaos. So I'm trying to enjoy it while it's still here. <laughs> The noise, the chaos, the chaos is just a season. Yes. Yeah, it'll, it passes all too quickly. Mm -hmm. It really does. And then you do, you find yourself doing things you never, well, God just really um, moves you to branch out and get out of your comfort zone in those quiet moments, which is a good thing too, but really enjoy the, the noise now. <laughs> yeah, so, that is very true. true. So you had mentioned, Ida, that this was originally a passion of one of your daughters. Do you want to share us a little bit with us a little bit about that story and how she came about this idea of this event, Night to Shine? Yes. Um, Desiree, who's my oldest, um, reached out to the Tim Tebow Foundation when she heard about Night to Shine, um, just in the hopes that possibly she can get plugged in with someone here in Anchorage who did the Night to Shine event, which is a prom night for the special needs community. Uh, but unfortunately at that point, um, it had only been their first year and there was no locations here in Anchorage uh, that was um, putting forth that event. And so she prayed about it and really felt the need to have it happen here locally in Anchorage. And so she asked me one night, what do you think about uh, teaming up with the Tim Tebow Foundation and bringing Night to Shine to Anchorage? I said, let's do it. Remember, my life is very quiet right now. Let's go ahead and do it. And she was thrilled and connected with the, uh, with the foundation. And they were thrilled. And right, uh, other times, all the applications needed, uh, we were checked on and, and just made sure that it was something that was going to align with their, uh, their thoughts and, and how this should go forward. And um, they welcomed us in. And so this was really her passion and she directs it. I, I coordinate with her and it's really a mom and daughter type thing, but we have a lot of fun doing it and bringing it forth and it's grown tremendously. This will be our third year. And um, wow. yeah, we look forward to it every year. It's grown and bounds and we are really excited. It's coming up soon. So sometimes it's a little sooner than we, anticipate there it is right around the corner but uh we're looking forward to it ida could you explain to everyone what the night to shine is some people may not know what that is 
Sure. Night to Shine is sponsored by the Tim Tebow Foundation, and it is a prom night for the special needs community and their parents and caregivers. And uh, the Tim Tebow Foundation really wants um, to share that each person is precious and God loves them and um, that each person is a king or queen in God's eyes. And that's what we demonstrate that evening, that each person that has arrived at that event is a king or queen in God's eyes and they are loved. And mm -hmm. that's what we're looking for. And is, um, is there a charge for this event? There is no charge. Everything is free to the guests. Oh, wow. And so tell, walk us through the evening. What is uh, one going to expect that attends this evening? The, it is a fabulous evening from the moment you get there till the, till the end of the evening. It runs from 6 to 9 p.m. Um, it will be held at Change Point Church again this year, uh, February 9th. And it is a night where uh, guests arrive and they have a makeup little makeup section and they have a shoe shining section and then every person is crowned king or queen before they hit the red carpet and then we have paparazzi taking pictures and just applauding them in and making a big deal about their appearance and then they go into the main sanctuary which is a dance floor with the best dj in town the best music in town and a lot of food <laughs> so there is nothing going wrong there. There is food, there's music, there's prepping, there's prettiness, there's glitter, lots of glitter and uh, all kinds of stuff that just makes it an amazing event and night. Oh my goodness. Sounds like nothing is being spared in putting this evening together. Nothing. There is nothing. We've had people arriving in limos and just groups of people arriving in limos, just going all out with their beautiful prom dresses and tuxedos and it is, yeah, a fantastic night. Nothing is spared, and I've had a blast. I mean, I didn't even have this much fun in my own prom, so it is <laughs> What are some of the stories that some of the parents of, of some of the attendees have shared with you? Does anything kind of stand out in your mind? Is any particular story? Yes, um, I have a few things that stand in my mind because it was so emotional for me, but um, there was a caregiver who said she had never seen anything like that. She, she came with her, um, with her guest and um, she said that she had never seen anything like it and she was so appreciative that not only had we reached out to the special needs community, but to the parents and the caregivers because they, boy, they need an they need an embrace as well. And these people put a lot of time and energy into all the appointments and all the things that special needs entails. And um, we grant them that time too, that rest time and that fun time. And we're going to cater to you for these next couple of hours. And they so appreciate it. It's very overwhelming and, and, and emotional because um, it just doesn't seem like they get that too often. And so we uh, encourage that and from everybody that's volunteering and we just make the most of not only the special needs community but their caregivers and parents so that's one thing and then there was a grandma who brought in her um her grandson and he was so excited to be there with his new tux and he went in right away and started dancing and he just hit the dance floor dancing and did not stop the whole evening. And that woman at the end of the night just grabbed me. I didn't know her. I had just met her at the beginning of the evening and she just grabbed me at the end of the evening and just gave me a big hug and kiss and said, she'll never forget that evening. And she knows he won't either. And oh. it, things like that, that the, the night went on and on and on. And my daughter can share so much more and the volunteers can share so much more. It was just story after story of of just people being so um, impressed and feeling so loved that it was heartwarming, just heartwarming to be there. Oh my talking goodness. about the parents and the caregivers, do they stay with the with their child or do they drop them off? There's both. They can drop them off and in which case we have a buddy for them. We fit everybody with a buddy for that evening um, so that they're not alone. So everybody has a partner, but the parents can stay as well. Um, however, we also have a viewing room where the parents are there, but out of the way, just taking their time, you know, their mm -hmm. rest time and having their food and enjoying their time away. Um, but they are welcome to stay in the event room with their um, 
guest or with their child, or they can go ahead and leave and we will pair them up with a buddy. It's always a dancing buddy. Nobody's <laughs> <scared> <laughs> It's a lot of fun. Oh my goodness. It sounds just so sweet. You know, yeah. I would imagine most of these kids, so much of their life is about them and it's consumed with their needs, but this is one opportunity they have to just kind of get all about that and be who they truly are in their personality. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, they really come out and enjoy themselves and just, there is no inhibition. They just come out and most of the time that's exactly what they say. I just want to dance. I want to have good times with my friends. I want to just enjoy and I want to go out there and get sparkled up. And it's just amazing. The boys will sit there and just get their shoe shine and feel like kings. It's just amazing what this night will do. Oh my goodness. So I want to go ahead and give you an opportunity right here, Ida, to tell us about how we can get in touch with or tell our listeners how to register for this event if that's needed. Yes, please do. It's really important. We've grown, like I said, this is going to be our third year. And last year, we grew from 98 people um, in 2016 to 187. So that's a huge amount of people. I can't even imagine what we're expecting this year. Um, so if you'd like to register to volunteer or be our guest, um, go to night to shine anchorage.com. And there you can volunteer to uh, help out or uh, you can be our guest. And also, if you have any other questions, there is a link on there and you can just ask any other questions that you'd like and we'll, we respond pretty quickly. So there's that. But it's nighttoshineanchorage.com. Ida, this event uh, depends on having plenty of volunteers, correct? Yes. Yep, we need to have, uh, basically the Tim Tebow Foundation would like to see one volunteer for each guest. So we really, that, that makes it really important for each guest to have someone that can just walk with them through the evening, whether they have a guest, a, a parent or a caregiver or not. We just really want to pair up people so they're not left alone, you know, standing on the sideline. We want everybody to be involved and engaged if they want to and have a good time. But if they want to volunteer, it's important they do it soon because um, I believe you do have to do background checks on everyone, correct? We do. Everybody needs a background check. Um, so we do do that. And uh, I guess cutoff date is the 5th of February. So we'll be taking volunteers for uh, uh, registration for volunteers until the 5th of February. And what your, I know you have lots of food. How do you acquire your food? Do you make it? Oh, Lordy. <laughs> you know, that would not probably be a good idea. There's all too many. It's a mass of people that come in. No, we have great, we have had great sponsors for our event. Um, we have had Pita Pit come alongside us, House of Bread, Pepperoncini's Great Harvest. We have had so many people come alongside us, but a platter of sandwiches is always, always taken happily. Um, we have not only, obviously, the guests to feed, excuse me, to feed, but we have um, the volunteers and we have also uh, the parents and the caregivers. So yeah, food is always needed and we want to treat them well. So platters of food is always greatly appreciated. And if, if there's a group of people that wanted to donate something, would they just contact you or go to the website that you gave? How would they yeah, put you go to the website, night to shine anchorage.com and then just at the link, go ahead and give information as to what they'd like to, uh, what they'd like to donate. And we'll take it from there. Okay. How are you guys getting the word out about this event, Ida? We have put flyers, we've given flyers to all of the big organizations and uh, mostly churches and all the organizations, the Arc of Anchorage, uh, her, um, Hope Community Resources, um, Assets, um, all of those big organizations we've given flyers to and have put out the word. And these are all organizations that have uh, participated the last two years. So they're all anxiously awaiting for this year. Uh, Special Olympics, they're big too. They, all of these uh, organizations are just looking forward to the big, big night. So it's word of mouth really at this point. Sure. What a neat endeavor. It's just so neat. Just when you think everything's been thought of and then you hear something like this and just so cool. You guys have stood in the gap and just created such an amazing opportunity for these to participate and enjoy this. 
Yeah. Well, it's a blessing for us to do. We are, we are privileged to stand in that gap and just do what we can do to, to, yeah, to host them and, and, and enjoy the evening with um, this community and their parents and caregivers. And we're just excited. I, I mean, there's not even a word anymore. <laughs> excited doesn't seem to fit anymore. It's just, uh, we are blessed to be in this place. Is there anything that you're doing different this year that maybe you haven't done in the years past? Um, no, I don't think so. I think we've just... Uh, I don't think so. I think, I'm sorry, my daughter was saying something. She's wording it to me, so I didn't quite hear. <laughs> oh, but we'll have her um, just jump on I the think... video. We'll interview her too. <laughs> She's saying a big no to that. So. Oh. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, she, I think, no, I think it's mostly um, kind of the same thing. Just, uh, I, th I realized this year, though, it's been more word of mouth. We really haven't do, had to do a lot of legwork to get the word out. I think it's more of people calling us at this point saying, hey, when's the date? Because it's mm -hmm. always the Valentine Day weekend. And so people will call us or email us and say, when's the date? We don't want to miss it. We want to make sure to be there. So, yeah. That's a, that's a good thing. When that is a good call, thing. When people call you wanting to know when it's going to happen, that's yeah. a good thing. Yo, yeah. I have, I have heard that uh, Tim Tebow shows up at some of these events. Has he been to this one? He does show up, and every year since we started, we've thought, uh oh, I wonder if it's going to be this year. But um, we don't know. He never tells. He he will show up to two of the proms. Um, it this is nationwide. This is actually across the world. So um, he shows up to two um, of the proms. So we may be in that list. I'm not sure. Maybe one one year, and then we'll all just faint and get back up and dance. <laughs> You know, I want to ask you, Ida, and it's just for those that may not know, because I'm not even sure that I do, why is something like this a heart of Tim Tebow's? He does have a heart for the special needs community. That's just something big in his heart. Uh, as a young child, his parents were really big on that type of thing and reaching out to uh, this community. And so that's just been, that grows in him. That's grown in him. And this is what he wanted to do. He's got a lot of different foundations, but this is one of the ones where he really puts effort in. Well, all of them. I mean, he's really big into his uh, sponsorships and foundations. Uh, so I think he just has a really big heart and wants to share the love of Christ with um, everybody. And that includes special needs community. Yeah. Wow. That is just so fantastic. Betty, I don't know what time you started the interview, so I don't know how much time we have left. By chance, did you peek? Uh, we have about five minutes. Perfect, perfect. Is there anything else you would like to share, Ida, that maybe we haven't asked you in regards to this event? I just want to give again the information. It, Night to Shine is February 9th, 6 to 9 p.m. at Change Point Church. 6689 Change Point Drive. And please, please, please do not forget to register at nighttoshineanchorage.com. Ida, did we talk about um, how they dress? Did, oh my God. Most of them come in formal, formal attire? Yeah, prom dress. I mean, anything, you know, they do not, uh, they are out there looking good. They are in prom <laughs> dresses and beautiful formals and the guys are in tuxedos and it's so special. It's lovely to look at. And it's just a sea of beautiful people dancing. But I do want to make it clear. You don't have to be in prom dress. You don't have to be in tuxedo. You can wear whatever you feel comfortable in. But most of the people, like I said, that have shown up are in it because it is prom night. It sounds wonderful. So I hope one day that I can help volunteer. And be I hope so, too. I hope so too, because where are you going to be this year? Uh, I'm not telling. <laughs> it's a secret. <laughs> well, I do. I do. I hope all of my, you know, I'm always encouraging my friends to show up because it's an amazing event. And unless you're there, you really can't appreciate it. You think, oh yeah, another nice event. How beautiful. Uh, it's so different when you're there and experiencing it. It's, it's just, well, it's heaven sent. Do the volunteers have to be dressed up too? 
<laughs> if they'd like. Again, <laughs> if they're black and white uh, business, or you can gussy up. And what is the date of the event again? It's February 9th, Friday night. February 9th. And again, we're talking about the night to shine, this event that's going to be held at Change Point. Uh, we hope that you guys have enjoyed this interview of Ida Brown and just sharing with us about this amazing opportunity um, to get our special needs community out and just really enjoying um, maybe those parts of themselves that they don't typically get to tap into, just dancing and eating and fellowshipping and just getting to forget about all of the other things that so often take their focus. So register for this event. We hope that you'll get out there and volunteer as well. If you have any additional questions, I'm sure you can reach Ida um, through their website as well. And and again, we thank you so much for joining us, Ida, and taking time today to jump on video and let us interview you. Yes, <laughs> My thank you for being our first one. <laughs> My pleasure. Thank you. <laughs>